Hello and welcome to U-Value calculations for building elements with homogeneous layers. Homogeneous means there's only one material per layer and a good example for this is a structural insulated panel which has an internal liner, an external liner and sandwiched in between the two is an uninterrupted insulation layer. A timber frame construction in contrast typically has a timber member interrupting the insulation layer. This is therefore an inhomogeneous layer and the calculation for this is slightly different. In a minute we'll be doing a U-value calculation for a two-leaf masonry construction and to simplify things we are assuming that the wall ties that hold the two leaves together are of a material with a very low thermal conductivity like a polymer so that we can disregard the effects. Thermal conductivity we have to remember is a material property so a material just as it has a specific color and a specific weight has a specific thermal conductivity. Okay, let's assume we have a 12 centimeters thick outer layer and 12 centimeters are 0.12 meters and we put this over the thermal conductivity of this material which is 0.6 watt per meter kelvin and meter kelvin can go on top of the bar then that gives us a resistance of this layer of 0.2 square meters per kelvin over watt. Add a layer of insulation in 0.16 meters thickness and put this over the thermal conductivity of this insulation material which is 0.04 watt per meter kelvin and we get a resistance of this layer of 4.0 square meter kelvin over watt. The inner leaf is exactly the same as the outer leaf, so exactly the same values apply. We're almost there, but we still have to account for surface resistance, the added resistance of a thin layer of still air directly in front of our building element. And on the interior, that adds 0.13 square meter times k over watt to the resistance. On the outside, this is a bit less, 0.04. And so you might ask, why is it less on the outside? And it's simply because it's typically a bit windier on the outside, and that reduces the stillness of this layer of air. Adding this all up, we get 4.1. 5.70 square meter k over watt and that is our total resistance or RT. The U value is the inverse of the total resistance and in our case the inverse of 4.570 square meter k over watt and the watt can then go on top again. The result of this division is 0.219 watt over square meter and k, which is our result. And this is how to do U-value calculations for building elements with homogeneous layers in accordance with ISO 6946. In another video, I'll talk more about thermal conductivity, thermal resistance and surface resistance. Thanks for watching.